As you can see, I just got back from the grocery store. My husband has brought everything in and got it on the counter. So I will get some things unbagged and organized just a little bit so that you don't have to listen to all the rattling of bags and papers and things like that and show you what I got. And I will say I was shocked at the cost of things. Some of the things that I bought most recently, it looks like some of them have doubled in price. But I'm chattering. Let me go ahead and get things organized and then we'll get, get it started. And also, I had a question on one of my videos about how to use my Ball Fresh Tech water bath canner and multi-cooker. And I'll get that out and just demonstrate a couple things associated with that. So let's get it started. So I'm in sticker shock. I won't say what it is because I'll be sitting in the other room, but let's just say it was more than I expected to spend. And since I really hadn't done a bonafide grocery shop for a while, I needed just about some of everything. So that's why it was so expensive. I will just say it was a little over So we'll just leave it at that. So let me just show you what I've got so far. So since I knew that it was going to be a minute while I was at the store, I wanted to pick up something for dinner so that when I came back, I could get something on the dinner pretty quickly. So I picked up a savory rotisserie chicken, and we're going to have this with some mashed potatoes and some sauteed squash. Why sauteed squash? Well, because when I checked my fridge, when I shopped my fridge before I made my list, I had some yellow summer squash in the fridge that needs to be cooked. So I thought I better get this cooked just so that it doesn't go bad. So we're having that with the chicken and mashed potatoes for dinner. I also picked up some onions because I'm going to need some onions with those sauteed summer squash. So I picked up some onions, just a couple, and then I'm going to be making some chow chow with some green tomatoes that I've got. And I need onions for those, and I need cabbage for those. So I thought, let me just pick up a little of that so that I've got it here. And if I know that I had a few things in the fridge, but I don't use up what's there. One of the things that my husband really enjoys is banana nut muffins, and so I picked up some of those. He really likes the ones they have at Kroger, and whereas I plan to make some later in the week, I thought this way they're done. But these puppies were $4.99, so I'm definitely going to be making some, so I don't have to spend that. And then I bought the Ben's Original Rice, and we like to have this particularly on days that my hubby is cooking and he needs some rice or something to put together quick for a meal. He likes this rice that you can cook in 90 seconds. He's not going to make rice that takes 20 to 30 minutes. Whereas I will make that, make a pot and then have some in the fridge for extra when I don't have that and he needs something quickly. We've got some of these. So I picked up two of the brown basmati rice and then two of the roasted chicken. And then two of the long grain and wild rice. I love the long grain and wild rice. And you know, Aldi's has a brand, and I don't know what the name of it is, that's got like a black pepper rice and ancient grains, and it is amazing. I should go by there and pick up some of that, because it's a 90-second deal as well. Also picked up some eggs. We were out. We've been having lots of eggs for breakfast. I had omelets a couple days because I'm trying to really scale back on my calories or points on what I have for breakfast. And then this whole wheat bread, and it's only 35 calories a slice, so it's like I can have two slices for two points. And then pears. Pears are in season right now. Pears are in season, plums are in season, apples are in season. So I've got apples, plums, and pears. And I made some autumn jam last week. It was absolutely amazing. Well, what is autumn jam? It's jam that you make with pears, plums, and apples. It was so good, and I thought, I'm going to make some more of that, just to make sure we have enough to last through the winter. So, pears were $1.99 a pound. Plums were like $2.49 a pound. These apples were $1.50 a 
49 or a dollar 59 so that was pretty good right now typically these apples and these are the honey honey gala apples i believe is what they are yeah these are the honey gala and typically they're a little bit more than that so with my kroger card i got money off on those and then these pairs were $1.99 which so often I've seen them like $2.49 and higher. And then plums are, as I said, were, are in season right now as well. The blueberries, the blackberries and these raspberries were two for $5. There was not a blueberry in sight. And I will often have blueberries and or blackberries and raspberries on yogurt with some granola and some pecans and have that for breakfast. It's only about three or four points and I enjoy that. So I'm gonna get some of my blueberries out of the freezer and see how some will taste with the yogurt. I don't know, I've not tried blueberries on my yogurt other than just fresh. So we'll see what's what with that. And then I got this pack of tri-colored peppers. It was $3.99 for this pack. I actually wanted three of the red peppers, but they were $1.59 for the red or the yellow or the orange, $1.59 each. But the tri-pack was just $3.99 for the pack of three. So I got two packs of that. And I've been using a lot of red peppers, yellow peppers, and even green peppers lately. However, green peppers were $0.79 cents a pound. So either $0.79 cents a pound or $0.79 cents each, I believe. $0.79 cents each. So I got two good sized ones of those. And I've also got a few small green peppers that my husband picked from my garden just the other day. So I have those. And then I let my potatoes go bad. I had, had them sitting in a corner. They were sitting on the floor in the bag. And I guess for some reason they just broke down and I had to throw the whole bag out. So I picked up this little bag of petite gold potatoes, just these little bitty round ones, but they are so good. Um, like I can just cook them, either roast them whole or cut them in half and roast them, or they're perfect in stews. So I'll just wash them up and then we'll eat them with the skins on. And then I found this salad recipe from that salad lady. She calls it a uh, the ultimate salad and you have uh, broccoli, florets and you also have cauliflower florets which I don't see the cauliflower I'll have to get that out but I've got a head of cauliflower as well and you put broccoli and cauliflower and apples and just so many other good things in it and then have a very light honey mustard dressing on it and oh it's delicious so I've got the broccoli for that and then of course I also picked up some baby carrots and we'll have a stir fry but we have broccoli and carrots and a few other things in that and then I've been eating a lot of salads and so for the bed of salad that I'm going to be making where I talked about the broccoli with the cauliflower and the other things I got this carton of baby spring mix and I'll have that with whatever else I'm going to put on top of it so there's that picked up a large bag of craisins and I think these were like $7.99. I was like, oh my goodness, were they ever high. But I needed them so I went ahead and got them. And then a um, bottle of apple juice. We use apple juice a lot just for breakfast and also in smoothies. And then my International Delight Caramel Macchiato. I use that in my coffee. And then I've been making a lot of pumpkin spice lattes and I might add a little bit of this or hot chocolate. I will put some of the caramel macchiato in that just to really give it a nice flavor. And then they had this classical pasta sauce on sale at Kroger for I think it was $1.49 or $1.59. So I picked up two of the fire roasted tomato and garlic. And I feel like I'm getting two for the price of one when I get these because I save the jars and I save the lids and I can use them for storing. Now, you can't use these for canning, but you can use them for storing uh, dry goods and different things like that. So I'm going to get these things put away real quick and then I'll bring that up so you can see what I've got. So here's the next batch of things that I picked up. And since I really hadn't been shopping for a while, we just needed everything. And then there were a few things that I needed because I've been baking and cooking or canning so much. 
So we've had a lot of making days. So one of the things that I needed was some ground whole clothes. I've got plenty of whole clothes, but no ground clothes. And whereas I can grind up some of the whole clothes, they don't get quite as fine as I need them for, say, a pie or something like that. Works fine for tea, but not necessarily for my pies. Also needed some ground turmeric. So I picked up these two. And you will notice, I bought the Kroger brand because I was trying to save a dollar or two. Picked up a box of coffee. And you know what? This decaf house blend was on sale for $8.99. There was a time when I could get it on sale for $6.49. Well, it was on sale for $8.99. And I just bought one because I'm not drinking as much coffee lately. I've been drinking more tea. And then I also picked up this canister of Swiss Miss hot chocolate. My husband drinks tea and hot chocolate when the weather turns cooler. So I got this. And then I also like to put a little bit of hot chocolate in my coffee and make a nice little mocha every now and then. So hot chocolate for our cool days. And whereas I will make my own corn muffin mix. And yeah, I've been making that Jiffy corn muffin mix dupe quite a bit. My husband was like, you may need some scratch. This wasn't if you know. It is amazing. And I will put the link in the description box to that recipe because it is really good. And I was trying to figure out what was the difference in the recipe from my regular corn muffin recipe. And the difference is I used to do a one-to-one -one cornmeal and flour mixture with this one, well, with the Jiffy Dupe, it's like three-quarter cup of flour and two-third cups of cornmeal and then you use vegetable oil in it instead of shortening. That's the only thing that I can think of but anyway I picked up three of these because let's say my husband is going to make the muffins or I just want something that all I got to do is just add the egg and the milk and be done with it. I did pick up three of those. These are like staples at our house. And then we've been having more soups and stews and chilies. And so I picked up some Ritz crackers. And I like to get the fresh stack, which means that there'll be like eight little packs in here. It's not like you open a long sleeve and then they're all open. But they're little short sleeves and then the rest stay fresh. And then, of course, you got to have some premium saltine crackers. So some days we feel like Ritz, some days we feel like saltine. So... Nabisco Premium Salt and Crackers. Got some of those. And then they're bringing out their Thanksgiving and holiday stuff. So they've got little kiosks all around the store. And they had this stovetop stuffing kiosk. And I grabbed a couple of the cornbread stuffing mix. I like to have these on hand. Let's say I decided I wanted to make some stuffing for dinner today. Then I can just use this add a little bit of liquid whip it up real quick and i got stuffing and it's pretty good now if i'm making it for thanksgiving i'm going to do my thing however in a pinch this will do the trick so i went ahead and picked up a couple of those and then we usually have tacos or some kind of a mexican themed dish on tuesday so i picked up these lime taco shells these are the restaurant style tortilla chips and I think I'm going to do taco bowls this Tuesday. So I like to have chips with that. And the lines taste so good. Now on that same trend, my husband has been wandering around this house for the past week looking for snacks. And we didn't have any. He'd eaten them all. I hadn't bought any because I hadn't really bought groceries. And he likes these kettle chips. So I just got some plain original kettle chips for two bags of those. And then two bags of just the classic original potato chips. Just, you know, regular old potato chips. Not the vinegar and salt and all this other kind of stuff. He likes them pretty plain. And these ought to last just for at least the next three weeks. Hopefully they will. But I'm not going back to the store for more. So I got his snacks. And then I've got some Granny Smith green apples. I only got two of those because I need them for a couple of recipes that I'm going to be making. So got two of those for that. And then here's the cauliflower that I couldn't find earlier. And it'll definitely be delicious in the chow chow that I'm going to make with 
cauliflower and green tomatoes and other things, but also in that ultra hearty salad that the, that salad lady has a great recipe for. And then the only meat other than the chicken that we're having today for dinner that I picked up was two packs of this cook in a bag. This one is the peppercorn, well two of the peppercorn pork tenderloins. They're really pretty nice. You can just put them on the grill or put them in the oven and they cook up pretty quick. And it's almost, I don't know, they're just pretty good. And so one of these will give us like three meals. So I'm going to pop these in the freezer and we will have them later. Picked up one package of bacon. We haven't been eating a lot of bacon but every now and then I like to have bacon and pancakes. And then we like smoked sausage. And I like the Eggridge brand smoked sausage. And we'll have that to save with maybe fried potatoes or something like that. So let me get these things put away and then I'll get the rest. Be back in a minute. So here are some other things that I got. I tell you what, I had so many bags that I had bags on the back seat that I had overlooked. So my husband brought those in. So I've got a few things on the table and back there that I'll be showing you. But for right now, here's some of the canned goods that I got. And I got some soup. They had soup on sale. And so I got three cans of soup, a roasted chicken noodle, a chicken tortilla, and another roasted chicken noodle. The Progresso soups were on sale today. So I got some of those. And whereas I have been making quite a bit of my own soup lately, I'm not always here and I'm not always so inclined to take the time to do that. So if I need something really quick and I want soup, it's nice to have some cans that you can just pull out. So I got some of those. I also picked up two cans of the Glory Season Southern Style Black Eyed Peas because sometimes for Sunday dinner, I just want to open a can of peas and not have to go through all the trouble of soaking the dried peas overnight and yada, yada, yada. So a couple cans of those. And then we've been having chili again now that it's cooler. And I like the Brooks Mild Chili Beans. So I picked up three cans of those. And then spinach. Two cans of spinach. My husband loves canned spinach. It's not my favorite, but he's always enjoyed canned spinach. And then I like these short cans of Bush's baked beans. So I got the maple and cured bacon and then a brown sugar and hickory. So three cans of those. One can of the Grable Country boneless chicken. And it's like almost like a half of a chicken or a third of a chicken in here. So you'll have white meat and dark meat. But if I'm making, say, chicken noodle soup and I don't want to have to get out a, a chicken out of the freezer and then boil it and bake it or roast it or do all those things to have meat, I can just open this can and I'm ready to get started making my soup. And then two cans of sliced peaches in extra light syrup. And you guys are going to laugh at this, but I also picked up two jars of chicken gravy. And notice this is the Kroger brand. I usually get the jars of Heinz gravy, particularly close to Thanksgiving and Christmas. I like to have a couple of jars of gravy on hand, just that I can open up and pour it out if I need it. However, as we know, gravy is quite easy to make. And I will make my own frequently, but in a pinch and I'm in a hurry, I always have a jar of gravy in the pantry so you can pull it out. And then I picked up a bottle of Concord grape juice, just grape juice, just to have in the morning with breakfast. And then two cans of the Glory Southern Style Collard Greens. We enjoy those. So let me get these things on this side of the counter. And then I'll show you the other things I got. So one of the cereals that I really enjoy is the Kellogg's Razor Bran Crunch. So I picked up a box of the family size Kellogg's Razor Bran Crunch. We were out. And then also a box of the Quaker Maple and Brown Sugar Oatmeal Instant Oats. So there's that. And then for snacking for my husband, I got a jar of this uh, Kroger Deluxe Mixed Nuts. 
and then peanut butter. We were out of peanut butter. So I got this jar of Jif Natural Creamy Peanut Butter and it's low sodium. So I was glad to find that. Facial tissue, and we like this size box. So I got four of these little individual size boxes of, of facial tissue, a bag of extra wide noodles, because I'm going to make a tuna casserole this week, napkins, and then I needed a bottle of hand soap, so I grabbed a bottle of the Method. And this is the green tea and aloe hand soap. And then here is some dishwashing liquid. We were just out, we were just out of everything. So I got that. Now this bird seed, this is the nut and fruit brand, uh, nut and fruit type by Katie. And I enjoy serving that to my backyard friends. And then this is just your cardinal and songbird blend. So I'll be putting this out in my bird feeder. This video is brought to you by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical. We believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. Visit us at www.aprondiva.com. Now, this is the last of the food items. So I picked up some of the Healthy Choice frozen entrees and I like to use these for lunches every now and then in a pinch we'll have it for dinner but typically I use these for lunches so let's say it's been a busy day or we've been out and we come home and we might open one of these it's certainly a lot cheaper than going to say Five Guys or Applebee's or somewhere like that and they had them on sale at Kroger today two for six dollars so I got two of the steam cap of the cafe steamers barbecue it's the barbecue seasoned steak with potatoes, and this one is really good. And I always get the exact same kind, two of the same kind, so that when we have it, we're eating the same thing. So it doesn't look like it's a purchase meal, but we're having the same thing. So the barbecue seasoned steak with potatoes, two of those. And then the Southwest style chicken burrito bowl. Now I'm hoping this isn't hot. So two of those. And then two of the crustless chicken pot pie. These ought to be delicious. And the Healthy Choice steamers are usually pretty good. So we'll be having these for lunches sometime during the month. And then I picked up a carton of the Stouffer's lasagna. I really like lasagna and I know I can make my own but this was on sale for like $7.99 and it will cost me more than that to put all the fixings together for lasagna so it doesn't mean that I might not add some of my own stuff or I may not but I picked up one of these and this will probably give us two meals so for $8 that's pretty good and I've been looking for this coconut shrimp for the longest time and I saw it today this is the family size pack but the jumbo coconut shrimp it is usually delicious and it's also got the orange marmalade sauce so got that picked up a package of the fishers chopped pecans and i like the fishers brand because i like the way the pecans are in the bag and we use a lot of pecans in the morning with our cereal with my uh, yogurt and my granola and then my husband likes it in his oatmeal and then of course when you're making muffins or if I'm having a hearty salad with nuts I like to add the pecans. Picked up a four pack of the super sweet golden corn and another of the super sweet golden corn. I didn't get any green beans because I've already got two of these today and I wasn't really thinking much about adding to my prepping shelf. I was just getting stuff we needed orange juice and um, we like the Simply Orange uh, Pulp Free. Picked up some bananas and I'll be making some banana nut muffins or something within the next few days sometime this week. And then I've really been crushing on this Silk Coconut Milk. It's really good and it tastes pretty good in anything that I use to bake it with or to drink it with so I, I'm liking that. And I did get some fresh strawberries, and this whole pack was $2.99, which I thought was pretty good. And as I said earlier, I will have fresh strawberries 
with uh, raspberries or blueberries and blackberries in my yogurt with a little granola. So I had to get some of those. Got some squash, butternut squash. And then a box of Oroville Red, Red, Red and Bocker popcorn. Sometimes at night when I want a snack, I'll open a bag of popcorn and it's certainly more calorie friendly and points friendly than some of the other things that I might reach for. Carton of butter. And then some Quaker five minute quick cooking grits for breakfast. And then a jar of the Randall's Great Northern Beans. So that's it. So those are all the groceries that I got. Now let me get these things put in the freezer in the fridge and then I will show you the question that was asked in regards to my Ball Fresh Tech water bath canner and multi-cooker. So this is my Ball Fresh Tech water bath canner and multi-cooker and the reason why I wanted to show it to you guys today is number one, it is still making season and as I said earlier with apples, plums and pears being in season, people will be doing a lot of canning and you can do water bath canning with all three of those fruits. And a person left me a comment and said that I wasn't well, they left the comment and indicated that I wasn't using things appropriately. So I wanted to show you how it's supposed to go. And also, I pulled up the instructions just to make sure that I was on the right track and I was. So with this kit, you get the lid and you can see at the top, there's like two vents that allows the steam to come through. I keep my accessory kit inside. This didn't come with it, but I just keep it in there so it doesn't get lost. And then inside the kit also is this steamer or diffuser. This is the piece that the person thought I was using inappropriately. They indicated that this is supposed to be at the bottom of the pan and that the jars are supposed to sit on it. Well, that is not correct. This is the rack that sits at the bottom of the multi-cooker and the jars sit on it. There's also this platform that comes with it. And it sits down into the platform just like that. The cord comes with it. And you can plug it in like so and then you put this rack at the bottom and it's got like these little feet there so you put this rack at the bottom with the little feet and then you put your jars in the canner and then this rack this tool serves as a diffuser now what do I mean by diffuser well what it allows to happen is that when you set it in the jar on top First of all, I've been calling it a jar stabilizer because it keeps the jars from tipping over, but it the heat from the water gets into the diffuser, and so with this being in contact with the bands on the jars, it diffuses the heat all around, and it allows a much more even cooking time. So that goes in like that, and then you put the lid on like that. So, now, let's say you wanted to cook some corn on the cob or some other dish that you were going to steam, then you could use this and then you would put it in the pan like so. But here's the thing, you might notice this doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the pan. Like when you take it out, there's like a little ledge right there. This diffuser only goes to as far as that ledge. So you can't get quart jars in here or anything like that with a diffuser in. So then you would put your corn on the cob on top of that 
you'd have your water in the base and then the steam would come up and steam whatever it is that you're trying to cook. And I almost forgot to show you, on the side there's a little spigot and to empty the water out is really quite simple. All I have to do is turn this spigot in the up position and the water will drain out. So when I set it on my counter, I make sure that the spigot is already in place over the sink or as close to the sink as that I can get it so that when I'm ready to drain it, all I have to do is put it up and then it lets it drain out. And it drains until like there's maybe, maybe an inch of water at the bottom. Then I close that off and then I'm able to lift it and pour it out and not worry about burning myself with water that is like piping hot. So that's how this works. If you have any more questions about how to use the Ball Fresh Tech water bath canner and multi-cooker, just let me know. Leave me a comment and I'll answer as best as I can. And let me invite you to sign up for my Homemaking with Purpose newsletter. It'll be chock full with tips and tricks and information that can help you master your homemaking journey. And if you hate to do laundry or just want to learn how to do laundry better, sign up for my free laundry master class. That'll be coming soon. I'm working on it. It's not ready yet, but it is coming soon. And for more homemaking and homekeeping tips, Click the link on the screen and I will see you next time.